guys, in today's video, I have skincare products that I love getting on Amazon, either because I never see them in stores or they're the kind of thing that when I'm in store, I don't really think to buy and then I'm at home and I'm like, oh gosh, I wish I had that. Um, and let's be honest, we really are not spending a lot of time in stores anyway, so I thought now would be a good time to share these with you. The first product is one that actually a viewer sent me a little while ago, so it's new to me and it is amazing. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. It is this extra care, extra care creamy petroleum jelly this is amazing it's fragrance free it's active ingredient is petrolatum which is a wonderful skin protectant this is great for both the face as well as the body no added fragrance minimal ingredients it's really affordable and i have never seen this brand in stores i assume that the person that sent it to me got it on amazon maybe not but oh, wow it is amazing you guys very thick but it absorbs in the skin really quickly. I always encourage people to put on moisturizer after bathing and to apply the moisturizer while the skin is still damp. This helps to lock in that hydration into the skin. And this is a really good one for doing that. It really provides a nice seal to trans epidermal water loss, but it also absorbs into the skin very quickly and doesn't leave like a filmy sticky residue behind. Speaking of moisturizers, another um, brand that I recommend all the time is Theraplex. You guys know I am a huge fan of the Theraplex um, Barrier Balm. Wow, this stuff is amazing. I recommend it frequently for people who are undergoing a lot of peeling on the face related to topical vitamin A, for example, like tretinoin. It just works really well. It is microcrystalline wax as well as cyclomethicone, which is a silicone that doesn't have uh, as greasy of a feel as like petrolatum. And it also has petrolatum in it, but the mix of the three together just make for a more comfortable uh, barrier balm. And yeah, this is wonderful. This is my second tub of it. I get questions about putting that all over the face. You certainly can do that. However, make sure your face is clean because petrolatum is so good at sealing in, creating a barrier that if you have any leftover makeup on the skin or sunscreen or anything like that, you're gonna trap it onto the skin and that can really cause some irritation around the pore and that can lead to acne-like breakouts. Um, so, you know, not everybody gets along with doing, with putting, with putting balms and ointments all over their face, but some people do, in which case, yeah, go for it. This is good. I've done that with this and it works really well. All right, the third product is one that takes me back to Colorado specifically. I spent a lot of my, a great deal of my life in Colorado. So if you've ever lived in Colorado and gone to some type of outdoor event, there's a very good chance the Rocky Mountain sunscreen was there. They are a Colorado-based company that makes sunscreen. And they always have their sunscreens for free at events so that people attending the events are encouraged to apply sunscreen. And they make a chemical sunscreen that you can get in a gallon. Uh, that's SPF 50. The brand is cruelty free. Uh, I don't know if they're vegan or not, but the sunscreen is reef friendly and it's free of added fragrance. But what I strongly recall fondly about this is that it was really comfortable to apply and it didn't burn or sting. Having the bulk volume can re be really convenient and encourage ongoing use of sunscreen. And you certainly can dispense smaller volumes from the big gallon pump into uh, little bottles to take with you on the go. Just make sure they are opaque and no light go goes through because the sunscreen ingredient ingredients, uh, you know, they're, they'll, they'll degrade with light exposure. All right, in terms of hair care, there is a brand on Amazon. I've never seen it in stores, but the shampoo and conditioner at least are amazing. And it's the brand No Nothing. I've used the shampoo and conditioner personally, but the brand is No Nothing. And all of the hair care products are fragrance-free, um, minimal ingredients that are likely to cause irritation. It's just very good, very sensitive skin friendly. 
They also have a hairspray, I mean, a ton of products. So check them out. Um, the brand is No Nothing, and I have never seen them in a store before, only on Amazon. Cruelty free and vegan, I believe, as well. Another product that you certainly can get in the store for sure, but I find I just I find myself buying it on Amazon is the Whole Foods 365 brand of hand soap. They make a fragrance-free foaming hand soap that's really good and they have a big refill bottle. You can get close to two liters for $10. So I find myself buying it on Amazon rather than in store. Speaking of hand soap, we are all washing our hands to bits and everybody has dry, cracked, fissured hands. The next product I'm gonna recommend you guys, I, you definitely can buy it in drugstores, but honestly it can be challenging to find. And again, it's not one of those things that you really are thinking of. Is the Kara Moisturizing Eczema Gloves. I have recommended these gloves to people with eczema in particular for years and years. But you don't have to have eczema to use them and they are fantastic for dry cracked hands. Basically what they are are moisturizing cotton gloves. They're hypoallergenic, although I loathe that term because it's kind of nebulous, but basically they don't have any dyes in them, which can be irritating. All right, but the reason these are so good is that uh, what you wanna do is grease up your hands with something like the Theraplex Barrier Balm, an ointment, or 100% petrolatum, which is what is in Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. Um, or you could even use this, although it's not as, as occlusive. Grease up the hands and then put these gloves on. And really what that's gonna do is help facilitate skin barrier recovery. With washing your hands, you're dissolving away the, the natural lipids on your skin, then soaps can be drying and irritating. I mean, it's a lot. So this is a way to help your skin recover. It needs that help with all the hand washing that we're doing. Putting them on at night is the most convenient way to use these, uh, just kind of Put them on right before you're gonna to go to bed and zen out with them on. You can sleep with them, which actually is perfect. If you are if you are somebody who has eczema and you scratch a lot in your sleep, having the gloves on can kind of help cut down on the actual scratching. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't like sleeping with them on, understandable. Just at least an hour can really do your skin barrier a whole, a whole, a whole lot of good. All right, another product I've talked about here and there, I only ever see it on Amazon, Skin Smart. These are um, a series of sprays that you can buy. They have one for the face for people with acne, they have one for the feet for, I think it's kind of targeting people with diabetes, but it's great if you have smelly feet. And then they have one for uh, spraying on wounds and they have one on for eczema. The active ingredient in this is hypochlorous. This is kind of similar to benzoyl peroxide in that it's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and it actually has been shown to help with, with for people with eczema to reduce the burden of staph bacteria on their skin that can contribute to eczema flares. So that's why they make an eczema body spray. Um, and it also can help in reducing the burden of uh, the bacteria, Cutibacterium acnes that contributes to acne. So the acne spray would be good for that. And then that because it's antibacterial as well, it can get rid of some of the bacteria on your feet that make your feet stink. Spraying it on your feet will cut down on those bacteria that make your feet stink. So that's another good, good way to use hypochlorous sprays. It's obviously best to shower immediately after working up, working up, working out and getting really sweaty. That sweat on the surface of the skin, it breaks down, leads to body odor, folliculitis, acne flares, eczema flares even. So it's best to rinse that sweat off as soon as you can, but sometimes you just can't, I mean, it's life. So these hypochlorous sprays are really super convenient for those situations. Like for example, well, I mean, at least in our pre-COVID life, and who knows, maybe in the future, some of this will return. But say for example, you go to yoga class and after yoga class, you've got to run by the grocery store to pick up some things. There's no shower at yoga class. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, this is real life. This is, this is how things go down. In those situations, this is fantastic to just spritz all over your body, kind of help. Uh, it will help dry up some of that sweat, reduce the bacteria on your skin. It's kind of like a little shower in a bottle and especially great under the armpits. It's not irritating. 
And while the active ingredient hypochlorous is something that you will find in bleach, it is not the same as bleach. It's not gonna bleach fabrics um, and it's not going to bleach your skin or anything like that. It's not irritating. At most, this can be a little drying, but it's fantastic in these situations where you get yourself really sweaty um, and you don't have time or access to a shower to rinse off the skin. Really, really convenient. All right, the next product is something you absolutely can buy in just about any drugstore, but I guarantee you're never gonna remember to buy it or realize that, that it's something that you need and you certainly can get it on Amazon. Something called Dom Burroughs. What is Dom Burroughs? Dom Burroughs is an aluminum acetate uh, soak. Basically, it's these little packets that you reconstitute in a pint of water and you can use it as a astringent soak for, honestly, what I recommend it for the most, most frequently, is poison ivy dermatitis. So this is a great thing to keep in your first aid kit in case you find yourself plagued with poison ivy. People get poison ivy, they always reach for calamine lotion. Calamine lotion is okay, this is better. It's kind of got a drying property to it, so it's ideal for things that are weepy. Weepy and oozy of clear fluid like poison ivy. Um, or like uh, some types of rashes on the lower legs can get really weepy. This is great. It's calming, it's soothing, it's antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and it is something that I recommend all the time, especially in the case of poison ivy. So get yourself some of these packets in case you run into poison ivy, you have them. The last product that I recommend a lot, both to patients as well as to you guys in the comments, is something that you get on Amazon. It's a lotion applicator for your back. Um, it just has a flat head, but it's really convenient for putting sunscreen or lotions on your back. And so it's pretty inexpensive, it's like $5.99 and you can get it on Amazon. Definitely worth it. Yeah, having this is really convenient, especially if you live alone. You know, another hack though that you can do um, that I tell patients to do for putting stuff on their back is to get some saran wrap and put the cream on the saran wrap in a, in a film, to tape the saran wrap up to the wall and then rub back and forth. That, that also works as well. So that's another little derm secret there for getting stuff on your back. But the lotion applicator is really convenient, especially if you go to like the pool or something and you want to reapply, obviously, and you're by yourself, you don't wanna ask a stranger to touch you, understandably, <laughs> um, then yeah, it can be really convenient. Yeah, those are some Amazon skincare recommendations, but comment below and if you guys like this kind of video, I could do maybe some more of these in the future now that I'm not really you know, out shopping in stores as much. Um, and there's a ton of stuff on Amazon, UPF 50 clothing and whatnot. So let me know, uh, or a lifestyle one, I would be happy to do that. You guys know I've been a long time Amazonian shopper. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, bye. <laughs>